What kind of heck is the stupid laser? I do not see any freaking laser on this thing. What does that button do? Retro Rob plays everything. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the, the MGP, MGP Slim Station, Station. Mi Pad 80 portable video player. It is the most amazing thing you have ever seen. Don't believe me? Well, wait till you see these features. It's a gift. It's a TV game. It's a flashlight and a laser. You tell me. Does your handheld game system have a friggin' laser? Well, I suppose it does if you have a PSP. Yeah, because uh, that reads discs. Alright, well, let's look on the back here at the wonderful functions. Laser lamps. Car gifts. That's right, it gives away gifts for your cars. For your cars, folks. It's a flashlight. TV games. It makes blooming onions. It does. Only one triple A battery is needed. Included in this gift box, the console, the manual, and an AV cable. Woo! Note, it is a choking hazard. Yes, if, uh, if you can fit this sucker down your gullet, I'm very impressed. Now, the unveiling. I'm not even calling it an unboxing because this is such a deluxe device that uh, it needs to be called an unveiling. By the way, uh, I picked this up for next to nothing. I'll put the price up on the uh, <laughs> on the screen. Um, this was amazingly cheap, though. It looked like one of those Sonic the uh, Hedgehog consoles, but it's the wrong size for it. It is tiny. And I do mean tiny. Here's, um, well, here's what's next to me. A weak, a weak cartridge for comparison. This sucker's tiny. All right. Oh, yeah, it doesn't feel good. It uh, feels like a PSP D-pad. Um, the plastic used for the controls is softer than the plastic used for the frame. It feels, it feels pretty cheap and... You can see like they didn't bother trimming off some of the molding when it was when it was made. Looks like a start button. I don't think this actually does anything. Uh, this appears to just be in here. <laughs> uh, T, B, and A. I'm assuming this is A and B. I'm assuming it's Famiclone. Maybe this goes to the menu. We'll find out. Spot for a lanyard. The laser. This is interesting. It has a cover with a uh, screw hole, but no screw in it. Power on. AV out. A reset button. Well, the form factor is not bad. Uh, the D-pad, it's not a D-pad. Yeah, I should call it what it is. It's a, a slidey stick. It, is, uh, it doesn't feel very good, uh, but we'll see how it plays. Maybe it'll play better. Here, let's zoom in so you can get a, a good look at this. It looks like it might be a little off-center. <laughs> yeah. Bit worried about this one. All right, what else came in the package? A uh, cardboard square. Deluxe model, I tell you. A user's manual for the Mi Pad. It calls itself the Mi Pad 80 here. And, uh, yeah, one of these typical jacks that you see with uh, Famiclones all the time. User manual. Mi Pad, oh, not much here. Portable gift game console. So it's definitely made to give away because uh, it's not something you'd want to keep, apparently. I don't know. Uh, but I'd want to keep it because it looks weird. It looks a little more Sonic here. Doesn't it? Looks like a Sonic head because it's blue. Super Classic Games in one set. AV out 
input cable, AV cable included, that's twice, supported TV system and TSC, built-in laser lamps, built-in flashlight, powered from one AAA batteries. There's also the generic solution grid. Avoid placing the product in high temperature, high humidity environment. That's a good idea. All right. Don't put it under sunlight. It'll turn to dust. All right. Let's see. Do I happen to have a double or a triple A battery sitting on me? Oh, of course I do. There we go. Good old AC Delco. Ah, there we go. So if I, I power on, there is a, well, look at that. There's a little power light. It's tiny. See it? Can you even see it? Here, wait. There we go. It is tiny. So, um, what about the laser? Oh, okay. So if I press to the left, I get the flashlight. I, d I don't see the laser. Oh, look, it didn't close it either. Is that supposed to be, la is this the laser? Wait. No. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the laser. That is uh, the freaking laser beam. You can take an eye out with that thing. That said, the flashlight's not bad. That works pretty good. Hmm. Well, I guess I won't be using that as a laser pointer in any meeting in the near future. All right, let's go play some games on this thing. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised with the amount and type of games included. It's really not that bad. So let's take a look through it, shall we? We'll do a walk. Ugh, you gotta hit start here. Okay, so some things, and it's probably gonna blarb out a little bit when I do this. Um, this connection is kind of tenuous. It's not terrible, terrible, but if you move way too much, it'll start distorting the screen a little bit. The, uh, the start button is the regular Nintendo start button, and this is A and B. Uh, this guy here will reset it. Wait, right on the top. Can you see that? Yeah, right on the top, that top button, that will reset it. So, just note it. Anyway, uh, we have Angry Bird 3. It does have a little screenshot of each one, and they appear to be accurate so far as I've tested. Contra 1, Super Mario. Won't be playing that one because I don't want Nintendo on my back. Arkanoid. Might play that one. Aladdin 3, Adventure. You got Goonies. Wait, ah, walk through it. Goonies, Gradius 1, Legend of Cage, Chinese Chess, World Cup, 1942. 90 tank. It's just tank. F1 race. That works. That'll be a, a big plus in this one's favor because that's a pretty decent game. Macross. Kung Fu. I like that game. Road Fight. Circus. Charlie, of course. Galaga. Oops, sorry. Just skipped over it. Desert Tank. Mario Brothers again, uh, but the original one this time. Load Runner. Load Runner 2. Dig Dug. Yeah, that's whatever uh, <laughs> that's go bomberman puyan lunar ball ice climber sorry i went over lunar ball there that's a classic ice climber ninja 2 don't know what that one is city connect don't know that one frontline definitely know that one loved it in the arcade uh unfortunately without the second controller it's not as good pinball olympics mahjong two player mahjong four player Nuts and Milk. I've played that before. It's actually pretty good. Star Wars. Uh, some Donkey Kong games. We got Mappy in here. Don't know if it's the original one. Looks like it's the remake one, but I can't really tell by that screenshot. Excited Bike. Ninja One. Does everybody call it Excited Bike, or is it just like people in Wisconsin? It's really Excite Bike. Anyway, um, Devil World, which is good. 
Popeye, this is kind of a fun game too. Got Pac-Man, which is classic. Xerion, which I think I've played here before. I thought it was pretty good. Wrestling game, Sky Destroyer. This wrestling game, as I recall, is better than you would expect. Uh, Balloon Fight. Formation Z, which is good. Othello. Karatika, which is a classic. Arabian. Joust. Galaxian. <laughs> Jewelry. I think that's uh, Bejeweled. A Bejeweled clone. No, it's, uh, what is it called? There was a Sega gem game that it's a clone of. Bird Week. I'll definitely be playing that one for you. Uh, sea Adventure, which I think is a remake of uh, Adventure Island. And then so. Then it starts going into all these, like, um, remakes at that point. So, so really, you've got, really, you've got, what do you got? Let's see, about 64, 60, eh, not even 64, about 61 games. But that's not bad for an 80, 89 and 1 cartridge. I mean, that's really pretty good uh, before it starts going crazy and giving you just like other versions of the same game so not too bad let's take a look at what's in here f1 race because if this works it's better than many of the other ones it The trick is, when you go around the corner, does it suddenly start going out of control? And like completely out of control, like reversing the controls. And we'll go a little bit further and see. No. It does not do it. Therefore, that is a win. Hmm, not bad. Oh, oop. Oops. Alright, let's try something else though. Here, by the way, is the initial menu. Uh, you get to choose between Chinese and English. I would recommend English if you are an English speaker and Chinese. There's not just one Chinese language, is there? There's like multiple. All right, whatever. Anyway. Gradius. Now let's hit start. One player. Nice. You know, this controller, it, eh. it does not feel great, but it actually does control the game fairly well. I'm not really having any uh, problems with the reaction time other than, you know, my own personal. Huh. All the directions work. I don't know for how long. I mean, it, it does feel cheap, but... Again, I have to say the um, the state of Famiclone clone controllers has really improved over the years, and even the most vile of them, which I would say that this is among the most vile of them, actually works pretty good. I mean, it plays the game fine. So if you don't mind the PSP controller, um, you'd probably be okay with this one. You know, the slidey controller, the analog stick. Of course, this isn't really analog. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. It it's controlling fine, really. I'm not fighting it at all. Darned. Oop, don't get hit. Alright, let's try something else. Arkanoid. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. Usually have a uh Arkanoid bar top machine, like a real uh, one that they used to put in pubs. I like this game quite a bit. It is hard uh, to control with... It, I shouldn't say it's... It's not really that bad. Uh, I'm just kind of used to playing with a paddle. But it's not... It's not terrible. And definitely this controller is capable of doing it. Yeah, darn. Arkanoid kind of loses its nuance uh, without a a paddle controller, but um, this definitely could be worse. 
Ah, that was a mistake. Uh, nope. Not fast enough. See, that's something where a paddle could have done it. But really, honestly, for, you know, for essentially being played with a D-pad controller, it's really not bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> way to duck that one. All right, let's try another game. Dig Dog. How many of you guys blew a lot of time on the Atari 2600 version of this? <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it wasn't bad, but it was definitely not the same as real Dig Dug. This version, however, is really quite good. You're gonna get away, aren't you? You should prefer this, there we go. Got him. You're over with, buddy. Also, I'm kinda curious, which one do you prefer? Do you like this better or Mr. Do? I personally think I probably prefer Mr. Do. Maybe not the original one, but definitely the uh, definitely the Neo Geo remake was awesome. But I'm not uh, I'm not gonna kick Dig Dug to the curb. Get over here, you little buggers. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we will do. Ugh, oh, missed the other one. There we go. All right, let's try yet another game. Mappy by Namcot. All right, I'm just being funny. I think this is, uh, wasn't the original single screen? I might be wrong. You know, it's, the worst thing is I'm pretty sure I've played this within the last year and can't remember that. Whatever. So you're this little uh, cop mouse uh, stealing back a bunch of stuff. Uh, for years, I believed that you were a robber mouse disguised as a cop. However, that apparently is not correct. I was corrected by a viewer uh, who pointed out that I probably could have read the instructions. Yes, I could have in like the 30 years since this game was made or however many it's probably like 40 anyway plays pretty nice i i'm gonna again oh, mention how surprised i am at how well the controllers work they're really not bad again it has been a while since i've had one of these it has had a super bad uh, controller on it even when they look as horrible and and are as seemingly bad as this one they really work quite well back to it let's try another game all right let's try xerion or exeron or xerion feel free to correct me on that Oh, I played this a while back. I played it on one of the early uh, videos. I wonder if that's still up. I've been kind of pulling out some of the early videos that don't do real well. I mean, from like years ago. I don't think they really match. Uh, they don't really match the style of the new ones. So I've been kind of pulling them out if they don't really seem to have any value whatsoever. Uh-oh, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This game's pretty good. Yet another good choice for this uh, for this little console. Well, you forget um, how good a game selection can really make the difference on a, uh, a whole system like this. Really, it does. All right, let's try one more game, and then we'll head out for a conclusion on this. It's Bird Week, the game that challenges you to be as free as a bird now. Bust out the Skinnerd, folks. Come on. Let's hear some Skinnerd. No. It's very sad.
not a dry eye on the Gen Xers in the house, though. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I have to collect these little, uh, these, see, these bugs. And I've got crying baby birds. Here I go. I gotta go oh. feed them. There we go. Oh no. Now I'm gonna lose a baby bird. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Shut up, birds. It's just like being a human. And then I think I have to avoid that vulture thing. There we go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. Nice. Here we go. I'm going to go feed him this. Have a shroom, kid. Oh, oh, terrible. All right, let's wrap this up. Well, I was set to tell you what a horrible, horrible little device this was. However, yet again, uh, I found $10 of value in it pretty easily. Uh, largely due to the fact that it has a very good selection of games. I mean, yeah, there's only 60 out of the claimed like 100 that it has, or 84 I think it claims to have. But there's 60 pretty solid games. I mean, yeah, there's a couple stinkers in there, but for the most part, pretty good collection. Also, the controls fared much better than expected. Yeah, it's a PSP uh, gamepad, which uh, I, I really just don't like that style of slidey controller. But it did perform in the games pretty well, so I can't really complain about that. That's a matter of personal preference. It is possibly the ugliest little cuss I've ever seen. Uh, as far as the laser goes, that's the laser. That's ridiculous. Uh, so they shouldn't even really, <laughs> they shouldn't even advertise it. It's not even strong enough. It'll, it'll kind of show up on my finger. I couldn't even make it show up on the camera, uh, which is why you don't really see a decent demo of it in this video. Uh, it does have the flashlight. It is at least smart enough to turn off the flashlight when the screen's connected. Um, all in all, not bad. I mean, for it, it was sub $10. It was like $9. So for that, I've got to give it a passing grade. So. Uh, I'm adding a third category here. It's it's worth ten bucks, so it gets a sideways. It's not an amazing value. Uh, I'm not real sure about the longevity, but hmm, not bad. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any comments, do them down below or anything else you'd like to see. I am always looking for suggestions. I've gotten a lot of good ones lately, so thank you very much for them. Uh, and they're definitely coming up. See you in a couple days. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos